I, Fishing with Bam here, and I personally wanted to welcome you guys on a new journey. A new journey to catching old Park Lake Warriors. And this is a whole new category. I'm not going to be fishing Park Lakes all the time, but now and again, I will. So I thought it was only right to document you on a new category, Park Lake Special. Well, let's get into this one. Oi, oi. So it's five to five now. I'm all packed up and ready. I'm just going to smash a bowl of wheat a bit. And then I'm off to the lake. I am absolutely sweating. I'm probably about my halfway mark now. I'm not too bad. I've done it in about 12 minutes so far. Come on. If it's easy, like this, I might do this more often. Even in the weeknights, I could even do this, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Oi, oi. So, the plan of action for this morning is, is I'm going to walk around the lake, see if I can find any fish. If I can find them straight away, I'll fish it. But come on. Come on, you carp. So, after seeing them fish, I thought about it, I can't really cast to them, so I'm not going to jump in there, but I'll go have a walk up a couple of swims to see if I can get close, because I know they're in their proximity. They're feeding on all the hatching, like there's a fly hatch or something going on, and they're literally feeding off the top. Right. I'm going to have a walk around and see what I can do. But I've got one rod half set up, I've got the net set up as well, just in case I can just quick jump in and swim. Let's go and see if we can see any more fish. I found where I'm going to fish for the moment. Not far off the margin, there, just in front. I've seen three fish holding up. First of all, I spotted it by seeing a bit of fizzing. I walked up to the next swim, come back, I see three fish. And also, I can see the spot where I see the fish this morning as well. I'm going to do a couple of hours here and I'll put a bit of bait in the next couple of swims down. Bait a couple of spots, but I think this is going to be the morning bite. Come on, come on. So there's my first rod out there. The bait I want to do with my second one. I've seen the fish show mm, I can't look, over there, that direction, but I'm not too sure. I can see that more fizzing over just to this area. So this could be a good spot. It looks quite an awkward bank, so I don't know how many people are fishing, so I might do well. But this is where I'm going to stay for an hour. I want to try and catch these fish quick, but right, see it? Right where I've got my rod. My rod's just there, and there is fizzing. Yeah, oh, come on. I did see a fish show just before I put it out, but I don't know if it was a tench, but I'll take a tench. I ain't caught one of them, I've only ever caught one of them when I was a kid. Catch another one. It's all fun these part lakes though, that's what it's all about. Right, so the second rod's out there now. I'm fishing the right rod close to some weed. Well the whole lake's covered in weed, but there's a bay of weed with a clear spot straight in the middle, probably about an eight foot square, I reckon. It seems to be clear. So I've got that one out there with a bit of bait, but I've got everything back on the barra because I'm gonna stay active. If I can see it, if I ain't got nothing here for an hour or so, I'm gonna move on and see if I can't find them. But and in the meantime, I'm going to watch the water. I'm going to go between the two swims to my left and my right and just having a look to see if I can see anything else so I'm active to move. But I feel confident on this swim though. Something's drawing me to this one. Hopefully I have one. Come on. I've sat there for a good like hour and a half now. I've walked down three swims down now. And I've noticed a couple of fish on top. But I've seen more signs of fish because it's a bit more open. You see what I mean when I get into it. I think, but at least I've got a few spots baited on here so I can come back to it later if the fish move from the other end. But I'm telling you, with the sun up the other end, that's where I think the fish are. So let's get moving. Come on. Gotta stay active. I've got, to get, I've got to be on these fish today. I've got to be on these. I've got to have one. I said to myself, I want to catch a fish every week. So hopefully I can just catch one fish. I'll be happy. <laughs> so this is my second swim. I've seen fish showing just to the read of it and then just out in front. So I'm not fishing too far out, probably about six wraps out in front of me, but I feel like this is a good swim of choice because it's more open. I've got more places to cast to, and if I can see any fish, there's hopefully this is the one that nicks the bite. I'm not really fishing too many boilies around here at all, just the two mesh bags, one of pellet, and one of that, the nuts cloud. 
So hopefully this could do the bite. It's a bit different to how I normally fish as well. As I said before, I like to sort of look, look for the fish and sort of bait a spot and hopefully the fish come to me. But with park lakes, it's a bit different. So I'm on the hunt trying to find them. But hopefully this is the one swim that's going to do me the bite. I'm feeling confident. I'm going to chill out for a little while and look, keep my eyes on the water. Maybe do a cup of tea, but the sun's coming up. I think I'm going to get my shorts on soon anyway. Come on, just one carp. I just need one carp. So the third rod's out now. Hopefully this will do me the bite with the extra rod. I've got a lot of area in front of me that I'm covering now. So hopefully any fish patrolling past this corner now, I'll manage to nick one, fingers crossed. But if I don't have one in the next hour or so, or next couple of hours, I've just found out the other lake, it's not a syndicate, so I'm gonna go and check that one out. But I'm feeling confident, hopefully I'll have a fish. A lot of more anglers are turning up now, so I've got to keep on my toes really. Come on. Come on. So I'm still sitting here, but I'm debating whether to move because someone's set up opposite me and is uh, walking out into the water and casting around the corner into my water. So. It's not a problem, like, <laughs> he's not even in his swim fishing, but I might move, to be honest with you. It might be a sign. could be a sign from the cart cob saying, come on, mate, move. we we'll see what happens, though. It's like fishing here, walking out to the water, but casting here. He has to go round that bush to cast. It's annoying, but could be a sign. back in the remaining, the first swim I chose this morning and I can see fish in front of it. So I'm going to jump back in here and see if I can nick one of these. I don't know if you can see that though, look. It's right there. It's that way. I think I've done the right thing moving. I've seen a good group of fish in here in front of me now. I've baited three rods to a, like a line through the cut in between the weeds so hopefully like, I'm going to sit deep on here now because it looks like the fish will keep patrolling the island so hopefully we have a banger. So I've got a breakfast on the go now, <coughs> I've got the old saucy sarnie going, it's going to be banging, I'm super hungry as well. Let's have a little look, show that. Yeah boy. Come on the carp. I lost one on my left hand rod that was fishing on a lead tip. So now I've changed that to my middle rod and moved that to the left hand side on the heli safe and cast that back out to the spot. Because where it's quite weedy, we're fishing a lead clip, I feel like that is the reason why I could have lost that fish. So I've got that on back on the position, but I'm now I'm watching the water more. I'm noticing them patrol, I know their patrol line, they seem to go. So I've got both entrances to the weed beds done. And now I've got the back bit as well. So hopefully I can have a cart. I'm feeling confident to nick a bite now, I've had a run. Come on, I just want one of them old park, old park lake carps. So I'm just chilling at the minute, using my bait box as a pillar, laying on the floor, hoping to catch a carp. Come on. So it's just going half two now, still no signs, but I've just refreshed two of the rods that I was on the spot. One of the ones that I caught from earlier, I thought fresh bit of pop up now, nice working. Uh, but the rigs I made yesterday, they don't quite work out to be out working the way I want them to be. Without that ring, they don't sit up perfectly. So I'm back on the boom. Gone back to boom work. Hopefully that will nick me the bite that I need. I know the presentation's bang on then. There's still a few hours left of fishing to do and I know I'm going to get a park lake. Well, I hope I'm going to get a park lake banger. Please carp gods, give me a carp, please. So it's just approaching R4 now, I've packed my gear down. That's me for today, but I've learned a lot on this session. I know I need to get some stuff for fishing on the top. 
and uh, now I know what to prepare myself next time I come but I can give it a good go again good head of fishing here anyway I'm happy with that but I'm gonna push the barrow back to the car now it's got about a 20 minute drop push on that so come on I'm about halfway now and you could ask was it worth it yeah it was worth it <laughs> So, I just got back to the van. Oh, I'm knackered. I've just been informed. My mother-in-law's made me a dinner. So when I get home, I've got a takeaway roast dinner. Buzzing, I'm oh, marvin. But I had a good time fishing today. Shame I didn't catch a fish, but I learned a lot. And when I get back over there, I'll definitely have one of them park late bangers. The rolls a riot and sparks excitement in the boy. You see me must only mean one thing, must mean I'm bloody fishing. And today you join me back on the park gate, because how could I not resist giving it another go? I've gone home, I've got, got my artillery ready, and I'm ready for the situation. Hopefully we can manage to have one on top. I'm absolutely buzzing to get back out. I'm only fishing for a few hours. Today's Friday, Jubilee Friday, and then I'm back on Sunday. I've got some bait with me, so I can pre-bait a couple of spots and come back Sunday and catch a banger. Well, hopefully we catch a banger today anyway. Oh. I'm about halfway there now. I'm gonna get this walk done. Get me a banger. The rolls. The rolls. So, just turned half five. I've just turned up. My plan is to go and have a little walk around, see if I can find the fish, then set up the float rod and net, get that ready. And I won't pop my, get my other rod ready until I found a swim because I'm going to fish one on the bottom and try and go for one on the top. Because obviously, last time I was here, I got a take off the bottom as well. So maybe worth it, worth giving it a go. I've got my new fish mix as well, so I'm ready to fish. Hopefully, that does me the banger. But let's go and see if we can find one. The tactics have all changed, I'm not going to lie. I've dropped in a swim that I fished before. Obviously, I know the fish patrol through here, and when we're turning the corner, I see fish in here, so I thought I've got to go for it. I've raked out a spot as well, so I've got a nice clear spot somewhere. I'm not going to say anything, but hopefully I have one. But I can't even float, fi float fish at the moment on top. I only forgot the bread in I. But at least I'm back Sunday, I'll give it another go. But I feel quite confident. I've got one at the spot where I caught that, where I had a take before, and I've got this one just on a clear spot somewhere. Hopefully, I'm gonna pack down all this mess I've tied, that I made anyway now, and hopefully we see a banger. I'm all tidied up now, I'm ready to catch a banger. My left hand rod is fishing the white mulbs again, once again. I put about five pouches of uh, boilies around it. And then my right hand rod, where I'm fishing that new clear spot, I'm uh, white mulbs again, but that's with like three handfuls of boilies out there. So, phew, come on. The way I've cleared the spot as well, I'm seeing like fizzing and stuff, bubbling and that, so I'm thinking like maybe it's a good sign, but I am seeing fish on top out there as well. Ah, oh, leads me to think maybe I'll trim down a pop-up or something and try and give that a go with the dog biscuits I've got. But we'll see, but I really want to catch one today, really want to catch one. We'll see. So, for the minute I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea, have a bit of breakfast. Hopefully I'm going to need this energy because I'm going to catch a carp. Well, if I don't catch a carp, I'll be hoping I'll catch a carp. Let's see what happens. It's just gone half nine and I've just moved my left hand rod. I've moved it at to a nice clay spot out there I've noticed and I've seen fish cruising across the great clay spot so I thought it'd be silly not to move it 
I've put a few more patches of uh, boilies around it. So hopefully it does me the bite, but time is approaching. Let's hope I catch one before I pack up. A couple of hours left now. Let's see if I can nick one. Come on. Proper carpy minute here. I'm up in a tree trying to scope out, see if I see some fish. I can see two over the back, but I'm hoping they'll get on that clay spark I'm fishing on. I'll try and show you from up here. Hopefully, produces a fish. I'm just packing up all my stuff now, all my rods are in and everything, but before I go home, I'm going to have to have a little picture with this one, innit? I? Let's hope it chills out for this video. Oh. Bitchy, just as I was packing up, 18 pound 12, absolutely buzzing with this one. Caught this one on top on a trimmed down mulbs. I couldn't resist it. Even though I forgot the bread, I still managed to get one on top. I've come what I've wanted to achieve this week. Buzzing with this one. A Park Lake special, 18 pound 12. Buzzing. Let's get her back. Look, rolls the riot van and sparks excitement in the boy. Look, rolls. But the policemen look annoyed. Look, rolls. Perhaps these are ones they. Oi, oi. Once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to watch my latest vlog video. The good thing about this vlog, I managed to catch one of them dark, crusty looking creatures and I'm absolutely over the moon. I will get my rod back out there, but now the syndicate's open, I'm putting full effort into there to hopefully bag that 30. So stay tuned for the next episode, but until then, fishing with Bam, over and out. Look, rolls the riot van and sparks excitement in the boy. Look, rolls, but the police.